All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and begin the presentation. Hello, good morning, and welcome to the 7th College Winter Quarter Enrollment Webinar. My name is Kristen Guzman, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm an academic advisor here in 7th College, and I will pass it over to Claire to introduce herself. Hi, everyone. My name is Claire Sun, and I'm the other academic advisor for 7th College, and my pronouns are she, they. I'll pass it back to Kristen. All right, so the both of us are here today to help you all prepare for the winter quarter enrollment. First, we will give a brief presentation reviewing important enrollment information, and then we will answer any questions during the Q&A portion of the, of the webinar. Okay, so now let's discuss two path enrollment which is designed to ensure that everyone has an opportunity to enroll in required pre-major, major, and general education courses. You have been assigned appointment times based on the number of units that you have completed. The more units you have, the earlier your appointment time will be. If you have not already done so, check your assigned appointment times on WebReg. You will see two appointment times, one for your first half and one for your second half. During your first pass, you may enroll in up to 11.5 units. Waitlist will not be available during the first pass. During your second pass, you may enroll and waitlist in up to 19.5 units. Starting the first day of instruction, you may enroll and waitlist in up to 22 units. Please note that you must be enrolled in a minimum of 12 units to be considered a full-time student. Waitlisted courses will not count towards the 12 units you need uh, until you are officially enrolled in the course. Some enrollment tips. Please make sure to clear any holds prior to your first pass, uh, first pass appointment time. To maximize your options, enroll as, many, enroll as soon as your first pass appointment time begins. If you do not enroll during your first pass, which lasts approximately 48 hours, you will need to wait until your second pass to enroll. We recommend placing reminders on your phone, computer, tablet, to make sure you do not miss your appointment time. For additional information regarding two pass enrollment, go to Triton link and under academics, select enrolling in classes. Now let's talk about which writing course you should take for the winter quarter. First year student. If you are a first year student and have cleared the entry level writing requirement, or are currently enrolled in AWP3, you may enroll in SIN1, which is designated to be taken in your first year. If you are not able to get into a winter section of SIN1, you will be able to enroll in spring quarter. If you are currently enrolled in AWP4A, you should enroll in AWP4B. The analytical writing program will provide instructions on which section to choose. If you, are, if you placed into AWP4A and were deferred to winter quarter, you should enroll in AWP4A. For transfer students, if you are a transfer student, you have already cleared the entry level writing requirement and you may enroll in SIN 100 as early as winter quarter. If you do not enroll in a winter section of SIN 100, you will be able to enroll in spring 2023 or during fall, winter, or spring of next year. Please note that each section of SIN 100 focuses on a different topic. It is your responsibility to read the course descriptions of the synthesis, on the synthesis program website to learn about each section's topic. Be sure to note the section ID and enroll in the correct section during your, during your enrollment appointment. Transfer students who have <clears throat> who self-reported completion of a partial or full IGETSI, but whose official certification has not yet posted to their records, have been contacted by our office via the Virtual Advising Center or the VAC. If you received a message from our team, you should complete the following steps. Step one, contact your community college to verify that your partial or full IGETSI certification has been sent to the UC San Diego Office of Admissions. 
Step two, if so, you can contact UC San Diego Office of Admissions at admissionsreply at ucsd.edu to check on the status of your certificate. Step three, once you, have, once you have confirmed the status of your identity, please contact Seventh College Academic Advising via the Virtual Advising Center at fact.ucsd.edu. Please note, if, you do, if we do not receive your official identity or partial identity certification, your degree audit may not accurately reflect your remaining general education requirements. If you are no longer expecting to meet requirements for partial or full identity certification, please notify Seventh College Academic Advising through the Ask a Question feature as we can, uh, so we can review your transfer coursework on a course-by-course -course basis for use towards general education requirements. Now, I will pass it over to Claire to continue the presentation. Thank you, Kristen. So there are various resources and tools you can use to plan your winter quarter schedule. Refer to the degree requirements page located at 7th.ucsc.edu under the Academics tab for detailed information about university, general education, and major requirements. You can go to plans.ucsc.edu to see sample four-year and transfer plans. Please note that these example plans don't take AP, IB, um, or transfer credit into account. All plans are just a guide and should be modified based off of your individual situation. Um, you can use your degree audit accessible via My Triton Tools to track your progress toward graduation, and you can contact your department or program advisor for help with selecting major courses. After you successfully complete fall quarter, we'll be able to help you create a personalized academic plan. In the meantime, you can use the degree planner tool at degree-planner.ucsd.edu to create an academic plan and then meet with your department or program advisor to add your required major coursework. Starting week three in winter quarter, you can contact us via the VAC Ask a Question feature to schedule an academic planning session with the Seventh College Academic Advisor. Here are some important dates to keep in mind. Winter, enrollment, winter 2023 enrollment begins sometime between November 7th and November 11th, depending on your first class appointment time. Registration fees are due on December 16th. If you miss this deadline, you will be dropped for non-payment. If you have questions, please contact Student Financial Solutions. The first day of classes is January 9th. Again, please remember that Seventh College Academic Advisors are here to support you and answer your academic questions through the VAC at bac.ucsc.edu, which is available 24 seven. You can also attend remote office hours via Zoom, which are offered daily, Monday through Friday, and you can see our times here. Um, you can also find a link to the remote office hours on the Seventh College website under advising services. So this concludes our presentation. A video and a PDF of this presentation will be available at 7th.ucsc.edu under the Academic Plan tab for future reference. Um, now, we'll go ahead and begin the question and answer portion of the webinar. You can submit your questions using the Q&A function, and please refrain from submitting questions in the chat as we will use the chat function to provide you all with helpful links as we answer your questions. Um, so I see we have some questions 